What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have a Pokemon video. We are doing our last Aldi's tin. This is the Jolteon one. So, in case you haven't heard, um, Aldi's of all places is basically a grocery store. Uh, had a sale for these Evolution Evolution tins uh, for ten dollars. Not a bad deal. It does come with three packs and a promo card. And so these are XY packs. And so I also have a couple of Evolutions packs that we're going to open. So five packs total. And we actually have a small mail day. So definitely stick around to the end of the video to see what our mail day is. Um, but you know, this opening these tins got me thinking like, you know, between, I feel like sometimes XY packs, they get like a bad rap just because they're old. And, you know, people get upset when they're in these collection boxes, which is fair. But it uh, got me thinking like, as far as the artworks go, you know, which one was better, Sun and Moon or XY? Let me know in the comment down below what your own thoughts are. And uh, I want to offer a, I wonder if it's going to be an unpopular opinion. So here's the Jolteon. I feel like the card itself is not that good, but uh, the arts or these evolutions is pretty good. And for the packs, we have 3XY, Fates Collide, Ancient Origins, and Roaring Skies. And again, we do have two evolutions as well, so a total of five packs. But, um, you know, I'm going to make the argument that the XY full arts specifically are much better than the Sun and Moon ones. So I just look, took a quick through, look through my collection and grabbed a bunch. Um, so here's just a few of them. And I feel like this art was on another level, higher than what the full arts are today. Like some of the alternate arts, all right, sure, those are really good. You know, they're new. Uh, the whole rainbow rare thing, um, I feel like it's good for collectors. But as far as just like the raw art, you know, it's, it's just the same art in a rainbow pattern. And some, oh, I really like this Alakazam. Such a cool looking card. How, and I love how this, these have a very uh, specific kind of texture and they're all, they feel like they're all a little bit different. This Mewtwo art is absolutely insane. Definitely one of the better ones. Even the Pidgeot. Uh, you know, the way they just did those lines, looks like he's flying so fast. So let me know in the comment down below which one you think is better. Sun and Moon or XY, specifically when it comes to the art. Uh, my vote would be XY. So let's get into the opening. We have five packs. Let's go Fates Collide, Roaring Skies, Ancient Origins, and then wrap up with Evolutions. As always, guys, if you do enjoy this content, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. And if you're not already subbed to the Iwanda Turtle TCG channel, uh, don't hit that sub button as well on your way out. Alright, for our first pack, we have a Loudred. Worm, Wormadan. Oh, should, I am not familiar with that Pokemon. Uh, Pupitar. Minchino. Snubble. Deerling, super cute. Riolu. Jigglypuff. Our reverse is a Burmy, and then we have just a regular rare Carbink. All right, let's get one of those <laughs> to kind of like reinforce my point. Uh, let's get one of those sick full art cards. Ideally, one of the ones that I just didn't show up. All right, here we go. This is a Roaring Skies pack. And uh, oh, if you haven't been paying attention, there is a very awesome pack battle tournament going on uh, right now, and it's hosted by and kind of like organized by Mama Kangscon and Shiny Alex. Sam, shout out to you guys! Uh, this Saturday, we're going to be facing off against Anthony Pokey um, Collector Seven. Uh, huge shout out to you! And uh, yeah, good luck to you, and may the uh, we'll see who the RNG gods favor, I guess. We have a Dratini for the reverse. I do like this art. It's super cartoony. It's like a mixture of, not claymation, but kind of like CGI with a very cartoony picture in the background. So I do like it. And then, what the? How many carvings are in the, <laughs> How many carvings are in the set? And are, they all, are they all regular rare? <laughs> Alright, moving on to Ancient Origins. Still looking for our first good pull. Come on, give me, a, give me that full art. We have a, we have a point to make. Ancient Origins. Uh, I don't really know what we're looking for at Ancient Origins. I think there. This has like the. This is the one with the Primal Groudon and um. Uh, the other one. Wow. I'm, the name of the Water Legendary is totally escaping me. But let's see. We have an unknown. Baltoy. These Ancient Origin cards. 
I feel like this was a cool idea, but kind of like a missed opportunity or not. Like they were not able to capitalize on that idea. We have a Slagu, always a kind of a bit of an odd species in my opinion. And then a Metagross, three regular rares. So this tin was a bit of a bust. Hopefully these two extra XY evolutions packs will save the day. Um, these XY packs are from some product I had to cannibalize to uh, get the packs I needed for the pack battle tournament that was last week. All right, let's see, which card do we want? Let's go for a Mega Slowbro, I guess. We got a Super Potion, Charmeleon, oh, love that art. Magikarp, Energy, Caterpie, Ghastly, a <laughs> Diglett, Growlithe for the reverse, and a Farfetch'd, not a fan of Farfetch'd. You were an uncommon in base. How did you become a rare? I do not agree with that. All right, last pack. Can we get some last pack magic? Come on, give me something. I have to, X, Y, you have to represent yourself. <laughs> you're not You're not making my case. All right, give me something. Let's see, we have a Metapod. Ooh, Charizard Spirit Link. That could be a good sign right there. Double colorless energy. Pikachu. That's another very classic art. Machop, Weedle, Doduo, a Staryu, ooh, Machamp Reverse, not bad right there. Another classic art, and then we have, ooh, Mega Venusaur, okay, okay. Wasn't the, um, we were close, but uh, Mega Venusaur is a very nice hit. And even this uh, Machamp, I'm going to grab a sleeve for him as well. So we did get some kind of, I'll call it some last pack magic. Not the, uh, would have preferred a full art to really drive home the uh, XY over Sun and Moon <laughs> conversation. But uh, we'll settle for this Mega Venusaur. Very nice card. So, and um, yeah, so what, once again, uh, let me know in a comment down below. X Sun and Moon versus XY. Which one do you think was a better, uh, kind of like the art styles, um, specifically the full art, because I feel like that's the one that you can do like the most uh, side by side comparison. And for a very quick mail day, we did uh, pick up a couple of theme decks from uh, Game Nerds. GameNerds.com, they have like a daily sale, and every once in a while, you have to check daily, they have a Pokemon one. And so I was able to pick up a couple of theme decks, specifically a Let's Play Pikachu and Let's Play Eevee. Uh, so I believe these kind of like retail for like 15 and you can kind of buy them online for like 12 and they had a sale where these guys were like six bucks. Uh, so I did pick up a couple of each and um, something just to have in the collection. I don't think I'll ever be worth much, um, but I do think, you know, it's kind of cool. It, I think it's one of those things where it's kind of like simplified uh, for uh, kids to kind of just learn the game and stuff like that. So a uh, little small mail day, nothing too crazy. But uh, yeah, that's it for the opening. Stay tuned this weekend for our pack battle with Anthony Poke Collector 7. It's going to be awesome. And huge shout out to Mom Kang's Khan, Shiny Alexander for organizing the tournament. And that's all we have for today. As always, like, comment, subscribe down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.